we are going to learn how to draw a fat cat or Totoro. First, pour in the center. You want to preserve as much cream as you can. Then pour at the side. You want to draw the stomach first. And remember, this is a fat cat, so you need to have a big stomach. Next, use the tip of the picture to draw the outline of the Totoro or the cat. Next up, you like to draw eyes. Make sure the eyes is extra big because Japanese anime characters have very large eyes. Next up, I got a bit of milk left, so I'm going to draw a heart. So uh, remember that the eyes need to look somewhere. You do not want to draw an eyes right smack in the center, otherwise you look like a zombie. Um, next up, you like to draw the stomach lines as such. I like to take the crema to draw it. Next up, take the frothed milk to draw the lights in the eyes and the small whiskers. And there you have it, a fat cat or Totoro. And if you are not aware of Totoro is from um, Studio Ghibli. Um, it's a Japanese anime and this is how it looks like as a tip you need to have a very clear and clean and crisp layer of creamer for you to draw on um, if you do not have that then you do not have the ink to draw on technically you have seen from this video i was using the creamer to draw the outlines of the totoro Next up, I'm going to show you how to draw panda. We are going to pour it somewhere in the center. As you can see, I'm trying to clean up the canvas to have as much brown canvas as I can. Um, once you reach the end of it, drop your tip of your picture touching the surface and you try to draw the outline of the panda you can see from here i have the outline of the panda two small ears and as a japanese character it needs to be fat and humongously big eyes i'm using a creamer again from the surface digging the creamer painting the eyes um, remember that the eyes needs to be really really obscenely big painting the eyes with the crema and a very small nose and remember the nose cannot be too big you do what you do not want to have a very big nose next up use the froth milk from the picture to paint the whites in the eyes keep dipping it over and over and over again and to have a very clean white surface next up use the crema again to paint the black of the eye and there you have it, a panda.